Hey guys, welcome back. How you doing? Um, last video I went over and show and showed you how you can uh, work with variables and what variables do and just how to work with them. Um, now I also said I was going to show you how to work with loops for this episode. Now, before I say much more, if you guys want me to make a series, a full series on like making a actual server, like a mini game or like a real like playable server, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do that. I, th I feel like it'd be kind of fun to watch. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to work with loops and what they are. So yeah, like I said, last episode went over all like different types of variables. Uh, just delete that. Same deal, just start up your server, the run.bat, load up your server, and then continue at it. So, what are loops? Loops are loops. <laughs> you just loop things. You can loop players, you can loop entities like mobs, loop blocks, um, lists, much more. So, like, let's say here, okay, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get a diamond block, a emerald block. Just a block here. Set a block there. Now, here's what you can do. You can type now uh, with three items. Command will do loop. Once again, I know I'm sorry for the sound of like the fan in the background and the typing. I can't really fix that. I don't. I don't know of any good programs or anything that can help with that. So if anybody knows, please let me know. <laughs> so we'll do loop all blocks in radius. We'll do 10 of player. Now you can also add checks to filter out blocks. Let's say we want to get every single block in radius 10 of us right now. That's what the uh, this line right here means. Loop all blocks in radius 10. Very self-explanatory. Um, now let's say we don't want to get grass. Grass is gross. So we'll do if loop block isn't grass broadcast loop value so now if we run this and then if we type loop uh, I should probably filter out air too grass or air let's try that there we go so it gets all of the blocks now around us um, you can also check certain types of blocks, so you can do if loop block is diamond block or emerald emeralds block, just like that. Mm. Oh, I feel like I mistyped a word there. Nope, I guess not. Okay, there we go. It gets it gets the two blocks right there. So now if we're out of the radius, and try it again, it doesn't go. Because it's looping every block in a 10 block radius, and checking if the blocks contain the loop. Um, like I said, you can loop just about anything. So you can do players, loop all players, broadcast, loop, player. Now, it's only going to show my name, though, because I'm the only one online, but that would get every single person on your server. Now, you can do loop all players, um, <laughs> push loop player backwards at speed 10. I don't know. And now, this, once again, every single player on your server would get pushed upward. Super simple. Um, so what are some other things you can do? You can do entities, like I said. You can do loop all... Is it mobs? I think it's mobs. And radius 10 of player. Loop value. I think it's mobs. Okay. So let me make it day or night. Um, time set night. 
Wait for some mobs to spawn. Here we go, there's an Enderman. Ah, I can just summon some. Do zombies. Creeper. And then skeleton. Perfect. So now, if we type loop, it gets all the... Oh, that's cool. It tells you what they're holding, too. I actually did not know that. Um, so yeah, that can get all the mobs. You can kill them. You can do... Wow. Kill loop value. Now this is going to kill all the mobs. Once again, you can change the size too. Like, um, right now we're not going to hit that skeleton because we're out of range. You can change the number, but you don't want to do too high because it will. It will crash your server if it's too big of a number. Um, just like that. Even hit the one back there. Um... So that's pretty cool, but you can loop lists like I went over in the last video. So you can do add stone to list. Copy this a couple times. Dirt, diamond, emerald. Then we can loop the list. So when we loop a list, we're pretty much looping all these items in here. The stone, dirt, diamond, emerald, that's what we're doing. So if we broadcast loop value, it's going to broadcast each of these uh, items saved in the list. You could just broadcast it, and it would send you all the items, but we'll be looping it. So once again, if you loop, you get all the items. Perfect. Um... Even in GUIs, you can you can use loops. Um, do the same thing. Trigger. Actually, we do six. Now you can loop. Do ten times. Add one to var. Once again, that's a local variable. We've already gone over what local variables do. Um, and it will do set slot bar of players current inventory to we'll do stone. So now pretty much what this is going to do is the first slot in the GUI is not going to be stone. Um, this is just a quick tutorial. So you, you, that's what you can do to set slots. If you want to fill up the whole inventory, you can just do like 45, or is it 49? I think 49. I forget how many slots are in a GUI. I guess it's more than that. But, I mean, you get the idea, though. It's that simple to use loops, really. Um, you can check permissions, you can do... Um, if player has... That's nice, well, permission loop.use. That's just an example. Now, whenever you're working with permissions, please make sure you have a permissions handler installed. I recommend luckperms. I don't think I had that installed. No. But luckperms, in my personal opinion, is the best one out there. Uh, there's there's a lot of great permission plugins. I mean, do not get me wrong. I'm not hating on any of them. I just prefer luckperms. It's a, more of an advanced one. And it, it can be time-consuming to set up, but I, you always want to have a, look, a um, permissions plugin installed. So now, if player has permission, loop that use loop all players broadcast loop value, and then we can check if they don't have the permission. Send no, you don't have permission. Perfect. So then now we type loop since we're opt right now. It's gonna work. But if I were to de out myself, I don't have permission to use a loop anymore. So it's it's really that simple. Um, let me out myself real quick. It's it's that simple. Loops. You. Uh, I forgot. Let me do one more example. You can loop blocks. You can do loop all blocks in radius ten of player. 
Well, I already went over this, but I'm gonna do something different. Set block at loop value to here. Let's do a check. Um, actually, no, we can do that. That'll work. But I'm going to go way over here. So, oh, there's a village right there. All right. So now this is pretty much gonna be like a nuke. Just gonna boom, blow through the dirt and everything there. You can, uh, it'll go all the way down to bedrock if you wanted to. <laughs> um, but, with, like, with this type of design, you can do some really cool things with loops. Loops, can you can make, like, fancy bows. That was one of my first ever tutorials, showing how to make explosive bows. Um, but that, I didn't loop anything, I just created explosions. But that's, that's really it, though. That's really it. Um, <laughs> um... I think that's about all I wanted to go over with loops. Uh, I hope I hope everybody understands um, this tutorial. Hopefully, I explained things well for you guys. But like I said, if you wanted to see me make a series of like talking on it, I know I've made somewhat series before. But if like you want to see a full series on making a uh, like a server, like a like a prison server, sky mine, sky block, whatever. Just let me know. Let me know what type of server to make, and I'd really enjoy doing that. It's also going to give, like, tutorials on it, too. Um, I just feel like that'd be a really fun thing to watch. I can even live stream it in the uh, MC Scripters Discord on uh, occasions. But I think that's about it. Um... Yeah, but if you would like to join the Discord server, as always in every video, I will leave a invite link in the description, as always. I, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.